The National Reference Laboratory in Germany provides diagnostic services um, for tuberculosis and other mycobacteria for the rest of the country. A lot of our job is essentially to first of all make people aware that TB is still around, second to provide absolutely excellent services for diagnostics. The work of my group is focused on analyzing the genomes, so the full genetic code of mycobacteria, and we use that especially for outbreak analysis, for larger studies looking into transmission chains in certain in, um, regions, and in addition we pr try to predict resistances from these data. In Germany, as the, as the National Reference Laboratory, we are operating in a country of high resources and low TB incidence. A lot of our tasks within Germany are providing help to laboratories, but also providing help to, take, uh, to clinicians. The NRL provides uh, sort of a backbone for mycobacterial diagnostics, not only for Hamburg, but for Germany. So it ensures that we have a, a very high level of diagnostic safety when it comes to TB diagnosis. Since the detection of new TB cases does not only rely on doctors suspecting the disease in their patients, but also on a laboratory infrastructure providing the necessary means for a diagnosis, the service the NRL offers to uh, practitioners and laboratories in my region is of uh, high significance for TB control. This has become particularly important over the last year with the influx of refugees, which has really increased the number of TB cases nationally by almost 30%. Due to migration, for example, we also foresee that there is influence coming from abroad, so that strains are coming to Germany and then are transmitted here, and of special considerations are actually multi-drug resistant strains that are um, coming from other countries to Germany and then transmitted here. We of course also operate a supranational reference laboratory and we have done so for a long time. The network of uh, supranational reference laboratories of the World Health Organization is a, a group of laboratories who help develop diagnostic capacities in high prevalence countries with low financial resources. The purpose of the SRL network is to strengthen the laboratory and diagnostic capacities in high prevalence countries. The Borstel has been one of the founding members of the Supranational Reference Laboratory Network. Some of the countries we, we partner with are, for example, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Moldova, but then also countries like Ghana and um, Sierra Leone. The programmatic collaboration between the NRL and the SRL include the um, development of national strategic plans, but also um, the planning of drug resistance surveys. Um, and other studies in the country. Within the supranational laboratory network, my group is also focusing on the application of genome sequencing to understand transmission dynamics of tuberculosis in the world. This information can then be used together with the WHO and other SRLs to get a fine map of resistance strains in the world and then, for example, develop special diagnostics or treatment options that are based on this genome sequencing data that predicts more or less the full resistance patterns of the isolates in high incidence and lower incidence settings. The SRL gouting is helping with the planning of um, new um, high risk TB laboratories in um, high burden countries. Together with Borstel and Gauting um, and Antwerp and Stockholm, we had a um, very successful um, workshop in the Central Asian region last year where we invited all the national reference laboratory managers and the NTP managers um, in order to help them um, develop their national strategic plans but also um, to give some good ideas how to um, develop their um, quality management systems. I'm convinced that this um, unique technical assistance which is provided by the Supranational Reference Laboratory um, partner is very important um, to uh, continue in the future because um, this type of support cannot be given by any other um, stakeholder in this um, area of, of um, TB programs.
As a national reference laboratory, we operate in a country, in a high resource country, with a relatively low TB incidence. In the situation where we operate as an SRL, we are advising and supporting countries such as Moldova, who is one of the high MDR um, burden countries. We very much operate as a partner. We operate as a technical partner, so we give technical assistance, we provide quality assurance, we help establish diagnostic networks, and we provide capacity building through training.